Hi, it's James here from Kimberly IT. In this video, I'm going to show you how you install Chrome Remote Desktop so that you can access someone else's computer and they can also access your computer. Now, it's important to know that no big company like Google or Microsoft or any antivirus company or any enterprise company is going to ask you to download this software to install it. So if someone has asked you to come here to install this software, put the phone down on them. It's a scammer. They're going to try and take control of your computer and steal money off you. However, if the person you're talking to is someone you know, like a family or friend, or maybe the company you work for, then you can proceed with this and I'll show you how to install Chrome Remote Desktop on your computer. First off, in Google Chrome, you need to go to this web address, remotedesktop.google.com. You'll see this homepage when you get here. There's two options on this homepage. You've got access my computer and you've got share my screen. Access computer is really handy in that you can use this to access your computer on another, another device that you may own. So say for example you've got a desktop computer and you're on your own laptop computer at the moment. You might want to remote into that desktop computer. If you've got Chrome Remote Desktop installed on, that, on your desktop computer, you can use this to remote into it as well. But the share my screen is probably the area you're going to be using the most. This will allow you to connect to someone else's computer and allow them to connect to you. So let's click on share my screen. You'll see this page appear and you need to install some software now. So in the bottom right hand corner, click on install and then click on install again. That's installing the Chrome Remote Desktop extension that's needed on the machine. The next thing you've got to do is install the software that allows someone to connect to your computer. So in the share this screen area, you need to click on the download icon. This is going to download a bit of software onto your computer. So hit save when the window pops up. Once it's downloaded, click on accept and install. This window will pop up and that bit of software you've just downloaded will be highlighted. Double click on that. Allow that to install. You might have to hit yes if this window appears. Once it's installed, you'll now see the option to generate a code. This code is what you give the person who's going to connect into your computer. So click generate code. What happens now is for five minutes you've got this code that you can give to them. So you can either email it to them, put it in an instant message, or tell them it over the phone, as long as you trust the person you're talking to. Once they've got that code, they can connect into your computer and take control of it, the mouse, the keyboard, and everything. So really make sure you know the person is connecting in and it's not a scammer that you're talking to. Using the box below, you can connect to someone else's computer. All they need to do is provide you the code. You type the code into this box here and hit connect. You'll then take control of their computer and you can use their mouse and keyboard. So really helpful if you're helping a family member who's having run into a bit of difficulties. Back at the home page now, we've got the other option, access my computer. So if we click on access my computer, I'm signed into my Google account, so it's showing me that I've actually got another machine that I can connect into. This is my Windows desktop machine, so if I can click on that, I can then connect to my Windows desktop machine and take control of it. This is handy when I'm out and about and I might have my laptop, but I might need to do something on my uh, PC. Or sometimes it's because I'm on my Chromebook and I need to use a bit of software that only works on Windows, which my Windows PC is available, so I can connect into it and use my desktop computer wherever I am. So it's really useful to accessing devices you haven't got with you. To set that up, it's simple. All you need to do is under this device area, is click turn on, give your computer a name. I'm just gonna go with the name that it's given it, just the default name on here. Click next. You then gotta put a pin in. So your pin needs to be at least six digits long, and it shouldn't be one, two, three, four, five, six, like I'm doing at the moment. Uh, once you've done that, hit start. And that will now make this computer available to me on my other devices, wherever I am. So it takes a bit of time just to start, start up, but once it's initialized, under the remote device area, oh, if this window pops up, hit yes. Um, once it's set up, if I'm on another machine, this computer will be remoted, will be listed under this remote device area. I can click on it, and then I can connect into this computer, no matter where I am, and no matter what device I'm on, as long as I go to remote, as long as I go to Chrome Remote Desktop on Google Chrome. So really handy tool, totally free, and very easy to use. Just make sure if it's someone trying to connect into you, that they're not a scammer.